We have some resources uh, that we could uh, bring into this uh, in terms of money. Um, we were thinking, um, or I was talking to, to Manuel, I'm um, evaluating the, the, the you know, possibility of uh, hiring a, a skilled, a, you know, very creative uh, and dexterous uh, uh, mechanic uh, slash engineer slash inventor or whatever, yeah, to, to, to come and, and, and help us. Uh, uh, let's see how much it costs, and we'll see if it's on part-time or full-time basis uh, to be able to 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 be like the cohesive uh, uh, element into in, in this. Um, uh, what we see our next step will be uh, very very short-term steps for even probably we'll do it on this Friday uh, in the afternoon. Um, we will. Uh, we have the bill of materials almost uh, ready. Uh, we revised it. Uh, we started today with, with Manuel. Um, we needed to do. Uh, what was what were we missing uh, there, Manuel? Because the task is seventy five percent complete. You recall? Yes, I, I will send you. Yeah. I will send you some specific questions via email, which I think will be more effective. But don't think there are specific parts that I just want. There are some very specific questions about some parts that I want to uh, make sure uh, we're on the same page so I'm getting it correctly. And, uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, and I just wanted to clarify a couple things you see on the picture that I sent you on the Dropbox. Uh, uh, basically, once I finish uploading them all of them, you'll get a pretty good idea of a range of machines they regularly modify, take apart, put back together. That includes, you know, tractors, trucks. You'll see very big, like, kind of rakes. Uh, truck, you know, uh, yeah, I already said truck. So they did they may take it apart, put it back together, modify, uh, and rebuild. So, and the type of machinery and facility that they have available. So, uh, in addition to, like, the, the uh, to, uh, also right on this point, uh, from what I uh, talked with Andres, in addition to the uh, full-time staff that they have now for the mill that can also collaborate, what he said about contemplating Hiring someone on a part-time or full-time is, is additional just to work on this, but we're gonna need to uh, we need to figure that out the, those details. You know? mm -hmm. uh, we want to talk to you and, and see uh, what what you guys need on your program in terms of time commitments. I know you sent us some job requirements, and there's some things that we've also talked about that we will definitely be able to provide remotely. You know, from some from testing, product design, improvement, my like. Uh, you know, modification, testing, uh, revision, whatever that's necessary that can be done uh, remotely, definitely. Uh, so, uh, in addition, yeah, we want to talk to you and see what you guys need and uh, where we can fill in with that labor. But, yeah, that's it. Uh, just to supplement what Andres said. Okay, and, and are you guys, are, uh, Andres, are you, are you working out of a document right now? Or I have you, a document in front of me. Is it the map or is there more to that? It's the map. Okay, great. So, I have a couple things. Andres, if you look at your email, I sent you an invitation to look at a, a document. Can you pull that up? Uh, when did you send it? Today? Yeah, about... Uh, the one that, the Google thing? Yeah. Okay, let me, let me, let me... Uh, because when I start to see things that I don't understand, I, I get... Uh, so, click to open. Click to open. That's easy enough. Um, sign in. A, 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 a. So, Aaron, is that the uh, third iteration of the of the of the tractor that's sounding in the background? Ah, uh, right. I don't, that's, <laughs> yeah, things are things are hectic yes. here. <laughs> you'll hear you'll either hear that or or four roosters crowing at six. Exactly. Um, holy Good. mother of God! Eh. Let me let me. Ay, Dios mío! Shoot. I am not being able to to to. Uh, can access your account. Okay. So what 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 was there? Um, eh, eh, Aaron, sorry, I'm 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 getting my stuff. Uh, 
open item again. Okay, you'll be able to look at it later, right? Yes, 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 yeah. yes we'll do. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Life Track 3 is the documentation that you have, and we've made some improvements on that. So I, oh, have, I have documentation to reflect that. We made the wheel system stronger. Uh -huh. we, made, we made them easier to uh, detach and take off. Uh, so we call that the Quick Connect Wheel System, and I've got full documentation for how that works and how you can source the materials you need. Okay. Right. The other thing is we, we switched from a straight loader arm to a bent loader arm to help with weight distribution and prevent tipping. So I've also yeah, got, uh, I've got documentation for that too. And then also in this document, um, we have we have everything from 3D CAD models to assembly videos and fab drawings and there's different instructional videos and manuals that I just link to out of this document to help you guys replicate the technology. So, Great, guys, thanks. Yeah. Listen, I have just a quick question. Uh, now that we're on, because well, I I looked at very recently last night uh, at the uh, at the wiki on the civil like what I was looking I guess at the civilization starter kit uh, I think version whatever versions on on there. Yeah, and that's right. The, uh, at least the CAD uh, the CAD files I was sent to uh, you know to another uh, another link that where I downloaded uh, a zip file and I couldn't recognize. I have AutoCAD 2013, the whole suite, and I couldn't recognize what format they were in. They were like S SLT part or like uh, some other format. I don't know. I couldn't. Yeah, open. that's for SolidWorks. So we we recently converted uh -oh. those into a. In, I have a I have a version that works with AutoCAD. So okay, I can link that to you. Um, I'll put oh, that. Oh, I in can get SolidWorks. I can get SolidWorks. I just wanted to know. Okay, I'll. I'll I'll find SolidWorks. If that's what you guys are working with, we'll need to get it anyway. Okay, great. Better. All right, sounds good, man. So that's uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna basically go over that uh, to kind of like get back on like uh, the short-term to-dos. Uh, as Andrea said, we have a meeting on Friday with uh, with this team where we're going to see who are going to be like, the real champions of this. We're gonna, gonna be interested and also present to them, you know what the machine is, how it works, show them, as you said, like some of the video that I, you know, I found on the website, uh, and, and explain to them what the basic bill of materials is, so that they can, then they can go and kind of uh, overlap with what the scrap metal that they produce is, and for us to see, well, okay, how much of the, how much of the live track we'll be able to source from the scrap, and how much we'll be able to, how much we'll have to get. Uh, so, uh, we'll do that. This Friday, and uh, and yeah, that's a that's a very big step, and after that, we'll be able to kind of replicate it. So, on that respect, replicating what is now uh, should be a relatively short process. Uh, and how we build it up from there, and like keep like uh, keep this going, replicate some more, and help you guys out on the on the development process. Uh, then that's the things we want to tweak, right? Okay, great, and also. We have a we have another part of the technology. I need to make sure that we're we are, we're all on the same page about. Okay. So rather than every machine that we design having its own engine, we ha we have an external modular engine. Great, the power cube. Yes. Okay, the power uh -huh. cube. So uh, I want to make sure that you guys have access to the newest version of that. We've recently rolled out version six point oh. It's the best okay. version of the power cube we've ever made. It works really well. It's well crafted, and we've got some pretty new. It's the, all the documentation is also almost complete. So I want to make sure that you guys can see that. Great. Okay, that's reflected. What what what, what engine is it, there, uh, uh, Aaron? It's the same engine, but the uh, the way that all the uh, we have a new muffler on it, and we've put but, all, all the. Well, uh, I mean, how many HP? Just because I, I I've never. It's small, right? Yeah, I think it's like a 25 horsepower engine. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Cool. And that's all hydraulic, right? Yeah. Great. So I'll make sure that's linked to this. You'll be able to see this document when you log in. and I'll make sure the links are in there. And if not, right. then I'll just send you another version of this. Okay. Can I bring up a couple topics, or do you have more to say on this current issue? No, no, no. Yeah. no we, we we just wanted to let you know our you know the, our first meeting um, that that we had, uh, what we see, and where we're going to. 
Okay. I would like to see us... Uh, one, one way that you guys could really help us and we could help each other is with design review. So, if you guys build a tractor... I'm sure part of what you guys would do organically is is take a look at it, think it through, and, and maybe you would come up with some ideas about how to make it better so that it's going to be actually more useful for the people that we're trying to serve. So yes. design review is a is a really helpful thing to get from everybody right now. We've got, we've got four or five beta release machines with full documentation right now. And what we're doing, rather than rather than expanding out and, and trying to develop too many more machines at this point, uh, we are circling back and doing next iterations of the designs for the existing machines. And then we're going to fully field test those. So we, we want to be rigorous in, our, in, our, in making sure that the designs that we have are ready for mass replication. Makes sense. Okay, so that's, that's one of our major priorities. And we're starting up. Uh, the first OSE distributive enterprise here on site, that's within the next month, we're going to start manufacturing the compressed earth brick press and power cube 6.0, and that'll be ready for sale. Um, we've already sold a few, but we want to make sure that the, this is ready for uh, the commercial market. So we'll, our time frame is for the power cube and, and the CEB press. Within a month, we should be ready for mass replication. Uh, and then, as far as the life track goes, you guys are playing a pretty major role then in replicating it, and I'm sure your team's going to have a lot to say about how to make it better. So that really fits in nicely with what we're trying to do and our schedule. Um, but in the future, if we want to continue with the entire set and replicating it in Guatemala, Guatemala and elsewhere, that's like getting your input on on how to make the the, the designs better is a huge that's a huge asset. So, are you? How much? I just want to gauge how how interested you guys are in that. Well, I, that's 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 basic, Aaron. And for us, that's what we do. Um, we we work, uh, you know, we work the field. Uh, we use our. I mean, we use many machines uh, in specific uh, tasks. Uh, but we are always experimenting. With uh, with new machines, with uh, you know, to do different things more economically, etc. I am sure that we will put this machine to work, uh, you know, uh, in, in in many many tasks. Yeah. So we will be able to 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 see, you know, points of fracture, points of uh, you know, uh, heating. Uh, by the way, we have we have a uh, cómo se llama. Uh, UV cameras to see, you know, where the heat is, uh, in the, you know, for all of our motors, engines, uh, etc. You know? So we can see where the stress, higher stresses are, points of more vulnerability, etc. So, so for, I, you know, for me, it's a given you know, that we are going to do that. I'm interested in this camera. We there's a there's a way to do this through CAD software where you can do uh, finite element analysis where you can see the stress loads and how it's distributed over uh, over the piece uh -huh. you guys have a camera a UV camera that can see that on the actual machine in real time is that right yes we do okay I've never heard of that I'm, I'm sure some of our team is familiar but that's new to me do you have any like do you know what that camera is called or how I could look I can find it out we yeah. will find out I'll, I'll, I'll write it here okay I'll awesome. um, you know, camera, UV camera. Okay. Yeah, that's great. And that could probably be hooked up live uh, to Kansa. I think so. I think people have probably that's, figured out how to do this in the field. I mean, Macho probably knows about it. You guys probably already did. But it's pretty nice as being a Tenfold Day. We have a complimentary copy of, like, AutoCAD three, right. 2013. You know, it's sweet. Right. So they gave us like a whole package of stuff. I'm sure there's a suite of an application there for it. Um, let's see. Okay, at some point, do we want to write a pro like a full proposal about this? Yes, I, I think that we should. I mean, just because you know, it's like a statement of intention. But uh, what the uh, you know what. The uh, Santa Ana and we are going to provide, or me personally, um, the energy that uh, that Manuel is bringing to the to the table, and also, uh, you know, what we are 
uh, the third, you know the collaboration that we have from 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 a uh, from OSC, uh, that this eventually we will like to have so that we can uh, 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 try to bring on board more more colleagues you know sugar mills etc yeah yeah we also have some some uh, short-term funders that would be very interested in seeing this and maybe that would help us try and find more funds to fund this kind of operation. Uh, okay. Um, I think if we could come up with, if, if one of the outcomes that we could generate for this would be not only like a, a plan and documentation around it and alongside all the design review and field testing that we're proposing to do together, uh, but... Yes, yes sir. Okay. Uh, you, you, you back that up. I'm sorry. If, if you can repeat, please. Okay. One of the outcomes that I, I see us generating, aside from a plan and all the design review and, and field testing that we're proposing to do, uh, I could see us generating a business model structured around how to how to actually implement this technology in that environment or similar environments. Uh huh. So that other people can replicate the business elsewhere too. Or for, for us, if you want to start a business based on the technology, that's we, we, we completely support that. One of our major goals is to develop distributive enterprises where all the, all the plans and business models are shared openly. So if this turns into an enterprise, I'd like to see us make a model out of it so that other countries can adopt it. Or people even in Guatemala might be interested. And you, you said that you work on a council of... Uh, of sugar mills. All, all uh -huh. the other sugar mills, that's right. Yep. Uh-huh. Okay. So, so it, it, it will be interesting, Aaron. I mean, now we're talking like this. Uh, to, to have, like, because this, to have your, like, your, I don't know, your, your, your principles or your, if you have, you know, some uh, pillars, uh, principles that you, that OSE is, 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 uh, is working uh, towards or is based upon or, or whatever, that, so that we will be on the same page. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's very useful, and, and especially because we're starting, so that eventually, uh, you know, uh, we can uh, be more clear and uh, have uh, less problems. This is right, I kind of like, I kind of dropped off, Nancy said, I, uh, about writing on a proposal and just to kind of like jump right into what you're saying. I can take uh, I can take the lead on this. There's a lot of stuff posted on the OSC website. The US uh -huh. really have that up. Uh, so I'm going to yeah. I already wrote up like an outline, basically the covers of uh, what we a little bit of what we talked about in today's meeting, the flow chart, some other things. I'll add to it, and I will add some of these core principles. Uh, and have you guys open up a Google Doc and have both you guys in it. So that we kind of have like a nice two or three page deck of OSC Henio Santana collaboration, uh, and that we can use to to show others. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It will be our best practices and just like collaborating effectively. You know? Yep. Absolutely. When what when what are our milestones? When do we want to try and have this document into a uh, near final final draft? Uh, I'll send you, I mean, I'll send you our outline based on plus what we talked about, plus some, like, basic, like, uh, principles and copy what you can have by the end of this weekend. Uh, okay. Wow. Aggressive. That's good. And Well, what I'm saying, it doesn't have to be, I guess, the final, I'm saying the first draft, yeah. of course. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, yeah. that's three pages of writing and, uh... Uh, you know, going to the internet and looking forward. It's great. I mean, I, I just... So the, but yeah, I'll do it. I mean, I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you, Andres. If you look at it, I'll add like, a lot of the same stuff we come up today, and that's two pages. So I'm going to add, like, some other stuff. And, and yeah, I, no problem. I'll do it by Sunday. And then okay. you guys add in your uh, suggestions, and, and we'll polish it as, as time goes, you know? Okay, let's let's go with an MOU for lack of a better, if you immediately have some better term, if not, let's go with an MOU. I, I hate that term, but it's it's there. Um, better, just so that amongst us three, we'll go with an MOU of collaboration. Yes. Bueno.
Okay, okay. So Miguel, uh, leads the MOU, that's what I'm writing, uh, the MOU of collaboration, and uh, uh, we'll uh, you know, send uh, by Monday next week. Okay. Yes. By Monday, okay. Perfect. Another another piece of information. Marchin is going to the TED Collaboratorium on September fourth through the eighth, and uh, he's been writing our, our strategic plan for the next three years. That's he's been doing that for the last two months. And then when he uh, he goes to New York for this this TED event, they're going to really workshop our strategic plan. So when, when he comes back on the eighth, we'll have a very nice uh, plan that we're we're probably ninety percent committed to. Um, so that'll just be more good information. You'll be able to see where we're going, and I mean, if we, I don't know, it'd be nice if we could incorporate this in that, but we'll see. There's no pressure to do that. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. I, 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 I uh, um, um, yeah. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, but I lost you there. Okay, I I was just saying there's a TED event, and Mark. Yeah, the yeah he's gonna be he's gonna be workshopping our strategic plan. Okay. So right. on the, on the eighth we'll have that published. Um, but this is uh this is. I was thinking about the prospect of incorporating this in that strategic plan, but I I don't feel like we should pressure it right now to try and have anything written too fast. So let's just... Oh, yeah. I mean, I think... I, I don't think uh, it's necessary, but... But, yeah, I mean, I think definitely we'll do have a good collaboration, uh, and it's taking a great, great shape. Yeah. So it might be worth mentioning, uh, but it, as for writing any details, you know, uh, I'm talking to you guys. I mean, I think we have a pretty clear picture of the next at least couple of months ahead uh, and what potentially we could do. Oh. It's up to you. Uh, okay. We'll definitely have something uh, robust and solid by Sunday. That's all right. Included, you Okay, and and the, the other thing is that uh, by to, by Friday, you know, 6 p.m. We should know. I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, what type. Of, you know, how I, I would have a good idea of of the energy that my team is having with this. Okay. Yeah, I, I, last time I mentioned this was a couple of weeks ago. I, I haven't, uh, you know, in the in the in the near past. But uh, we'll see. So, so probably we'll be surprised. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's 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 uh, let's keep it in the in the, in the back burner, um, uh, Aaron. Okay. And, and let's see how how the team responds, the energy they have, etc., and how we feel. That sounds good. All right, well, so, you know, without anything, if, we, if there isn't anything further, and I would, add, I would I might ask you a couple of great questions uh, about, I'll save them all for one single email, you know, like, between now and uh, late Thursday, I will uh, uh, combine all my questions about the contract that I might have for a Friday meeting. Is that all right? That sounds great. Okay, great. Okay, so, uh, Aaron, last time, there was nothing. Uh, we will get back to you by okay, Saturday morning, uh, or, you know, by Sunday, what uh, came up with uh, on, on, on Friday, uh, with our meeting and the uh, description of what happened, uh, reactions, uh, uh, you know, further points, etc. Uh, so we can see, you know, how... How, how the magic works uh, <laughs> with a team like this. Yeah, that sounds great. I look forward to it. All right. Well, is there anything else? No, that's good. Thank you, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to work with you. Well, Aaron, um, likewise, likewise. I apologize. I have to run. I have a board of directors uh, in half an hour, so I need to go look at some documents. Uh, but, um, eh, let me touch, Manuel. Thanks for your uh, for your energy, huh? Thank and you. No, you your energy is going to take you to another scale, so it's awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. All right. Talking soon. Okay. Bye, guys. Take care.
Bye. Bye. Bye.